Hey y'all, Jim Panky here. I got you a banjo lick today. Uh, I actually got you two, and it's gonna replace a lick you already know if you've been through the Foggy Mountain Breakdown video. I'll put a link, you know, go look at that. If you haven't done that yet, now would be a good time, especially if you're kind of at that point for doing it. So go check that out. And, but it, the lick that I'm gonna be showing you today replaces a lick in, in Foggy Mountain Breakdown and a lot of other tunes too. And it's a 411 lick is the lick that it'll replace. So it's this lick that I do, it's. And just quickly through it is four, one, one, hammer, index comes down, five, two, one, five, That's the basic part, and then the little G lick on the end. Three, five, three, one, three, four, one, three. And so that's that's the lick that we're going to replace. And you can use that lick, but if if you wanted a little variety, or if you've got to do that lick more than once, having another option is great. And so I'm going to show you a Don Reno style lick that a fit that now it's don't don't fret it's not it's not single string it's just a forward roll kind of lick but we're not going to use the fifth string so let me play you the well there's two there's two of these different licks that we're going to do i'll play you both and then i'll break them down for you and and this will be a fairly short lesson but you're going to get two licks that will fit over another lick and so you, you can spice up any of your tunes that, that has this lick. So the lick that I'm gonna show you, two of them. That's one, and then the other is. Not hard, I promise you. So look, so what we're gonna do, so we're sliding up to the seventh fret. Now you'll remember, or, We've never really talked about this, but like open G, and then if we do our musical alphabet, G, A flat, A, B flat, B, C's at the fifth fret, D flat or C sharp, and then at the seventh fret is a D. So we can hold a couple of strings at the seventh fret, and I've just got the two, the second and third string held there, and that makes makes a D chord. There's your D chord. So all I'm doing is I'm sliding up to that position. So I hit my four. So it's just four, slide, three, two, one, three, two, one. So that's the first little bit. And then I'm going to take my index finger and put it down on the third string. And I'm going to hammer with my middle finger so that's just hammer two, hammer two, three, two, one, three, two, one, three, two, three, two, one, three, two, one, and you can hammer that each time if you want. So let me turn a little bit so you can kind of see. And then we just need a tag. lick replaces okay now let's let's learn the other one and then I'll stick them both in foggy mountain breakdown at the end all right so the other lick same same right hand pattern, pretty much. Okay, so. so we're gonna walk down. So we just one fret, so three, two, one, three, two, one, and then we're gonna be at the fifth, 
and seven. So fifth on the third, seventh on the second. So let's do all three of them together, one right after the other. I'll put some pinches between them to keep the timing straight, but that way you can hear each of them together. And I'll start with the, the 411, the original one, and then give you your two, your two new ones. sound like in Foggy Mountain Breakdown. I'll do those two. Well, here we go. You'll see. And about that tempo. same spot you got the 411 that you learned in the uh, foggy mountain breakdown video and then you got two new don reno style forward roll licks that that also work over that d chord uh a little tidbit of information on that the cool thing about those that lick it doesn't hit the fifth string so you don't have this dissonant sound that, that Earl did and I like it but you may you may have a song where you where you just prefer that lick so there you go a couple of licks to learn something new to add to your arsenal of, of just bag of licks so practice that work on it uh, be sure to like and subscribe like the video subscribe hit the bell uh, Make sure you get notifications and uh, check out the other videos and links and whatnot. And check out my Patreon and we'll see you next time. Bye, y'all.